Hi guys, welcome back. In this video, I am going to talk about a simple history calculator. What does that mean? So let's have a look. So this is how the history calculator looks like. So let's say you want to add some values. Say you have a risk, uh, like five receipts with different amounts or some of them have same amounts. So let's say you have three receipts with 50 and two receipts with 20 and 25 something like that so you are going to enter that so 50 plus 50 then I enter 25 plus 20 then plus 50 so here you can see the whole history of the calculation that you have uh, added so this way it helps uh, you to keep track of the history uh, you can remove a value you can verify whether you have entered a value already then you can do division so yeah all these things can be done so basic basic idea is to show a history of what operations that you have done so this basically does simple math there is nothing advanced like adding brackets grouping together and all it's just plain math uh, that's being done uh, but I have created it in a, a reusable way uh, as a separate layout which can be connected to a text input. So let's discuss how it's uh, done in code. Let's look at the layout first. So I have this operations uh, keyboard XML. So in this I have the whole uh, this part four into four matrix is created uh, using a table layout so you can see that first uh, row is having seven eight uh, seven eight nine and divide and four five six multiply and like that so the advantage of having this is like whenever the size changes the table uh, layout take care so of handling the size of the inner button so it, it is really convenient then on top of that i have this equal button and i have a, a text view which shows the history text that's all this layout consists about and let's see the implementation I have this operations keyboard uh, class so in this i have a enumeration for all the arithmetic operations that we have so why this is there because we have as you see like in the ui you have a divide as divide and multiply as cross mark which is uh, more understandable to the common user rather than putting slash and star which is the system known symbols so to manage that i have created this so for example if you want uh, to display uh, a multiply or divide you call this symbol for type and if you want to add it into an expression you call the real expression value so this way you can easily mix uh, easily take the respective symbols uh, for your operations or whether it is a display so this is just an enumeration which does that then you have some variables defined for all the buttons and uh, text view um, and I am using I am connecting uh, I'm inflating the XML and then assigning those values that we have from the XML to these uh, variables and I am adding on click listener for each buttons uh, like when if the buttons are numbers then I just call one function on tap uh, number button and if it is backspace on tap backspace decimal on tap decimal and operation like on tap operation button like if you uh, tap on plus minus divide or multiply this is being called and on equals it uh, on e on tap equals button yeah so then then comes something called input connection so input connection is something like a channel uh, channel to connect between a class or uh, like a classes like keyboard or something with the input uh, method like for example text input or something like that so this is to for example if the class if 
for example this keyboard needs to read uh, what is there in the text field or where exactly is the cursor positions and all so this input connection will help me identifying that so this is uh, done in such a way that if you have a different text field also you can just connect this keyboard to that text field through this input connection so there is a convenience function here uh, whenever you create a text field and you want to associate with this uh, keyboard or this keyboard layout uh, you can uh, connect via this so pass in the uh, input connection as the current text field I have a regex this is basically to have some validation for example allowing only arithmetic operations numbers etc and I am allowing uh, nine digits uh, and two digits after decimals so this is uh, to do all these things then I have two expression list one is the final expression and the display expression so why I have these two is because one is used for displaying to the user one is used for real arithmetic operation so uh, how I do this thing is using character by character uh, collection so for example if uh, whenever a user taps any buttons I take it as one by one uh, character so that it will be very easy to manage when user changes a value user deletes a value it's really easy uh, to do the uh, uh, do the operations and stuff like that so whenever user taps a button i just and insert the uh, value into one of the expression and whenever user deletes is remove it uh, vice versa so these two are really core uh, part of the uh, the the calculator so these guys hold the uh, list of data entered by the user now this is like uh, display symbol for decimal so uh, like the decimal symbol to be displayed then zero symbol space these are like convenience uh, stuff which i have uh, defined then these are uh, like two list of symbols one is display symbols and one is the real uh, arithmetic symbols these are used for some validations in uh, the operation so which i will come to later and is valid regex so this is to validate the expression whether it achieves all the conditions that we have uh, made here then this is a conven again convenience function to get the last thrust uh, character let's come to the button tab let's say this is handling the tap of number so we get the text from the button and step one is we have to test whether the uh, the value that is entered matches our regex for example we only have uh, two digits after decimal what happens if the user enters third one so those kind of things so first what happens is uh, whenever a user enters a text we just create copies the existing expression list say for example user might have already entered 11.11 so that will be already in this list then we copy to a test expression and add uh, this the latest entered number and then we pass it into this regex and see like if it is valid so if it is valid okay then we uh, assign this test expression as the final expression so that means it is valid and we add the number that you the user has typed into the display expression list so that it gets displayed into the into our history text view and if it is not valid we ignore the button tap that means user cannot uh, tap it they like this 11.111 so whatever number that you type after this won't be recognized because of this check then comes the main main function which is evaluate this is the one which evaluates the result i will come to that bit uh, later next comes the decimal button so here we have few rules uh, which says that like whenever you start uh, whenever you type in a 
decimal we all add a zero before that just to make sure that expression is uh, proper and we have some other validations like if the previous uh, uh, character was a an operation like a plus minus decimal then we do not allow uh, sorry uh, plus minus divide or multiply uh, we do not allow a decimal immediately so so some kind of uh, those kind of rules are there so that is being handled here yeah then comes the operations button so here also we have certain things like no two operations uh, symbols can be pressed like you cannot have like one plus 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 uh, doesn't work it should be one plus so every time uh, it is being checked and the here you have another thing like if if a user have pressed like one plus and he want, he changed his mind he clicked minus then what we are doing is we just change the character to minus uh, so let's let's have a look say for example user clicked multiply so any any time they click multiply it will not take it it will have only one and let's say the user changed mind to have division instead so you just change the uh, that symbol or that operation to division so that's some logic which is being uh, done over here and whenever you add to the expression list we are uh, parallelly add to the display expression list also these two have to run simultaneously in the same way then only the whole thing works that's yeah that's the thing yeah then comes this equal button so equal button what it does is it evaluates the expression uh, immediately and puts the final value into both history and uh, the input text field so why we require this it's because uh, so this uh, the expression uh, works in the principle of the arithmetic symbols for that so what happens here is like 5 plus 5 is 10 and when you do a divide by 2 you, you have two things low so if i divide by 2 you get 7.5 how why it happens is uh, the division symbols get the precedence so 5 divided by 2 is 2.5 plus 5 results in 7.5 so that's the thing so we we kind of cannot avoid it because we are not handling any brackets and stuff so as a workaround or as a fix for that what what i have done is you click the equal then the results become 10 then you can do the divide so which will give the right results yeah but that's a limitation right now yeah then comes the our final uh, function which does all the evaluation so to make all the expression evaluation i have used one library so this is the library which i have used exp4j so i will post a link to that so that is what finally does the expression evaluation okay so let's go back so here what happens is the final expression is being passed over here so we just check uh, let's say there are scenarios in which like user can leave the input with a symbol as the last one for example like they can leave it like this but still you see that result is there so if, what happens here is like i check whether the last input or last value in the expression list is a symbol or a operation or something like that if uh, that is the case and then i just drop that and then only send only the real expression so because you cannot really uh, evaluate this expression because it's incomplete so i just drop the end value and send only the the real uh, expression to this system so that's that's what is happening here so i just check uh, check the last value in the expression and see like if it is a decimal or if it is an arithmetic operation then just uh, remove those and recreate the expression and then finally i just pass the expression to the expression builder which is part of the library 
and then evaluate that get the decimal uh, get the result and convert it into decimal use the rounding mode half even and then convert it into the text and clear the input connection or the uh, the text field where the final result is being uh, displayed uh, because if i commit a new text it just gets appended that's not what we want so you just need to clear that and insert it as a, a new uh, text so this is uh, this is what's happening here and if uh, it is explicit like why this is present because we are cl clicking the uh, equal to sign so when equal to sign is uh, clicked we are evaluating the expression like whole so what happens is uh, we just replace the whole list with the final value so that uh, the expression can be continued and finally yeah finally in the history text field we just join the values in the expression list and just display here and here we handle the exception like division by zero and all those things yeah these are again like some helper uh, functions to clear the text field so he, he this is where you use the input connection to get the uh, characters right now present in the in this uh, text or the edit text control and the cursor uh, position etc this is not uh, heavily optimized but it suffice most of the most of my needs and it work quite well and one more thing like how you connect uh, the keyboard to the edit text so here we have uh, let's look at the main activity so you can see that i have just imported the operations keyboard here in this main activity xml and keyboard is the key then you have an edit text so this is how the final layout looks like and in the main activity so what you are doing is you just uh, create an input on create input connection you create an input connection from the edit text then you get the keyboard from the xml and then connect the keyboard uh, to the input connection using the convenience function so set up so you just set the input connection as the edit text yeah that's that's all how it is so if you have a different text you can create uh, another input connection and use the same same class to handle that so this way it's kind of uh, reusable yeah and i will post the link to the code in the description yeah thanks for watching bye bye